the next problem. The midpoint of a line AB is 50 mm above HP and 65 mm in front of me. The line measures 80 mm and is inclined at 30 degrees to HP and 45 degrees to VP. Draw its projections. If you just observe this particular problem, already we have done this. That is, given the true length and true inclinations, already we have done the problems. But in those problems, I would have specified one of the ends, I would have given end A or I would have given end B or I would have given end B, etc. etc. But instead of giving end, I use the point. That is the only difference. Now well, let us do this. Okay, so draw the XY line. Okay, the midpoint of a line AB is 50 above HP. So let me draw the locus of that. So I will take uh, this line. So this is locus of what now? Locus of midpoint that is M dash and it is 60 by mm in front of VP. So let me draw this locus also. So I will write this as locus of M so that I can write this as M dash. There it is M. This is the first step. That is instead of determining the NDA, we have just determined the location of the midpoint M. Okay. The line measures 80 mm. So what do you mean that? TL is given as 80 mm and it is inclined to HP at 30 degrees and inclined to VP at 45 degrees. Now as usual, how do you do the first step is or first stage is considering line inclined to HP and parallel to VP. Now, now since the line is parallel to VP, I need to start from front view. In the front view, I should draw the true length and true inclination. Okay, now I know the clear. Tier is 80 mm. Angle is 30 degrees. So, how do you do that now? Now, remember, there the reference point was NDA. Now, the reference point is midpoint. Then we say that if I want to show the inclination of the lines, I need to concentrate on the midpoint or with M as my reference point, I need to rotate the lines. Anyway, M is midpoint. Now the true length is 80 mm. Since the true length is 80 mm, I know that midpoint has to be 40 mm from, from one end, 40 mm from the other end. Is it okay? So let us say if I consider the line to be AB. So I need to draw a line through M dash such that I should take 40 mm this side, 40 mm other side. See either I can take in this way also or I can take in this way also. Because anyway the line has to be inclined to HP. Is it okay? So now let us do that. So now I know that the line is 80 mm. So I will take 40 mm this side, 40 mm that side. Let me say that I am not disturbing the position of the Midpoint. So, and that particular line should incline at what angle? It should incline at 30 degrees. So, what it do is, I will simply draw a line through midpoint. I will simply draw a line like this, such that I should take 40 this side, I should take 40 that side. Okay, since I have taken in this way, we know that this angle is what now? theta which is equal to 30 degrees. Anyway, I will say this is NDA, I will say that is NDB. And again this is not the final projection. Since they are not the final projection, I will consider this as, let us say, A1 dash. Let me consider this as B1 dash. That means say that now the line has been positioned in the front view. Since the line has been positioned with its corresponding true length and true angle, what about the line if I draw through this A dash? and uh, B dash, that will be the locus. So let me indicate that also. So let me draw this. So this I will write it as locus of A dash and similarly let me indicate this as locus of B dash. Still this stage is not over. So what is still left over? Now the line is inclined to HP and parallel to VP. That means since the line is inclined to HP, its corresponding top view should be foreshortened. That is your LTV. So where do you get your LTV? Already we have a line here which is indicated as locus of M. 
Then what I do is, I will simply draw a projector through this A1 dash and V1 dash so that this particular length will be equal to LTV. Let me do that. So draw a projector through this. Now this is A1 dash, this becomes A1. Similarly, if I draw a line through this, I will get this as P1. And this length will be equal to what length now? This length will be equal to LTV. Remember, even here also, even though the line is four short, and again, this is the midpoint. They would say that this length should be equal to this length. So this is the stage one. Okay, what is stage two? Stage two is now I will consider line to be inclined to VP and parallel to HP. That is what all the things I did here. I will just repeat starting from top view. So that I am going to get LFV. Is it okay? Let me do that. Okay, now I know that the TL is 80 mm and the inclination is 45 degrees. So now I will draw a line here. Now it is 45 degrees. Of course, it is the same length I will take. TL, yeah, I think I have taken same length. Okay, so these are the, and what about this angle now? This angle is 5. That is 45 degrees. Now this will be, let us say A2, because already I have considered A1, B1, so now let me consider A2. A2, so this will be B2. Now in the top view, we have fixed the inclination with two length. So that I am going to get the locus points. So let me indicate through this. So this is the locus of A. Similarly, I can just draw a line through this. I will get the locus of P. Now, as usual, now the line is inclined to VP and parallel to HP. Since the line is inclined to VP, in the top view it will be 4 sharp. And that is nothing but LFV. So, how do you get LFV? I need to draw the projector through this. Up to what point do you write it again? Remember, since the line is inclined to VP and parallel to HP, it should be parallel here. And already we have this midpoint location now. So I need to draw these projectors up to this midpoint level. Okay, now this is A2, this becomes what then? A2 dash. This is B2, this becomes B2 dash. And what is this length now? This is L. Okay, now as you can see, we have noted on the locus. That is, we have locus of A dash, locus of B dash in the front view. Whereas in the top view, we know locus of A and we know locus of P and also we know LTV and LFV then what I should do? We know that this LTV and LFV has to be arranged between their respective low size such that they should be in projection with each other. Okay, how do you rotate, how do you rotate the line now? Because anyway I know LTV, LFV. Can I rotate simply from this and put it here? Why I cannot do in that way? If I do in that particular way, the position of M dash will change because anyway it is given that the locus of M or the midpoint M has to be 50 above here. That is this location I cannot change. And already we have what we have done, we have taken TL also half of on either side. Since I have taken TL on either side, in this particular problem, I need to take LTV, LFV also half of on either side. It is as simple as that. Okay, let us say we start from front view. So now this is LFV, this is the midpoint. So what I do then, instead of taking this full LFV, I will take half of LFV. I will take this half of LFV and this is A2, A2 dash. Now this A2 dash should come to which locus point? It should come to the locus of 
A dash. Then what I should do that? I should rotate like this. I will rotate like this. So that this is my final A dash. Similarly, the other half of L F has to be rotated. Remember, I'm rotating with M dash. That is without disturbing its position with reference to H P. Okay. Now, if I want to rotate, I'm rotating this B. But I know that locus of B is here. Then I need to rotate in this way only. So I will rotate like this. So that this becomes your final B dash. If you have done the problem right, if I join A dash B dash, it has to pass through M dash. Is it okay? Similarly, now I need to get the corresponding top. But anyway, I know that A A dash same projector, B B dash on the same projector. So what I do is I will simply draw a projector through this up to the locus of A. Similarly, here also I will draw the projector through B, such that it should be on the locus of B. And if I join in these two, anyway, I said that this is my. A dash A. Similarly, B dash B. And if I join these two, A B, that you are uh, final top view, it has to pass through M. Not only that, if you have done the problem right, what should have been happened here? This particular length should be equal to this particular length. That means, with M as center, if you have drawn this arc, it has to come here only. That is, I am rotating like this. Similarly, if I draw an arc through this other half of MTV, it has to be B only. So this is the check final check point. Understood? Now, as you can see in this particular problem, we have just done the problem with M as my reference point instead of the N A or N P. See, I can also give a problem such that we have an N P, some point we would have given. I would have said that the point B is 30 percent from A, 70 from the other side. Let us say if I give the length as 100 mm, if I say 30% from A, if I say 70% from B, then what do you do then? I will locate that point B such that it should be 30 mm from A and 70 mm from the other end. Then I will do the entire problem with P as my reference point. Understood? Thank you.